right, here we go. We're seeing Medieval Chef. Okay. Fiona versus Black Knight. So this stage, this is one of the stages which has a fireplace, which uh, uh, do quite a lot of damage. Does the fireplace here behave in the same way as it does on Competitor's Workshop? I'm not entirely sure. I assume it does. Uh, I assume they just use the same uh, um, fireplace files. That was another stage that Slagalty was questioned after Ed the Throne, where Kirby was flung into the fireplace uh, on Workshop, and um, he lost his slam meter, which, you know, obviously can be abused. Um, if a player maintains control of the fireplace, they can, uh, can in fact, um, you know, chuck their opponent into the fireplace whenever they feel like and get rid of their slam. Okay, so... Longshot Drift with a slam here, getting the first slam of the game onto Red Riding Shrek. And I think the fireplace in Javetta's workshop is probably um, more controversial because it's a larger fireplace. Uh, Red Riding Shrek getting the slam here. Okay, he is, so we um, see both players are about equal. Uh, they both landed one slam, but we're seeing aerials landed from Red Riding Shrek and Black Knight, which, as most of his moves are, very, very damaging. Uh, and that strong attack combo there leads straight into the slam. Yeah, uh, another, another very quick Drift slam there. Even building up much of his slam meter at all. Yeah, it must be quite he, is not, he is not in a good position right now. He is going to need to maybe camp a bit more, maybe throw a few more items at them. Um, but it's going to be a difficult grind to get um, back up that slam meter. Uh, Medieval Chef has quite a long history. It's um, It's been seen in quite a few tournaments. It's, it's always been regarded as... Was well, uh, at, uh, quite a popular stage. Okay. I believe it was used in the original tournament at Warwick, um, and in Ariel to the Throne, which is okay. not to be mistaken with Heir to the Throne. It was in fact uh, a Shrek Super Slam tournament. Okay, Patch Ops with uh, another slam. Longshore Drift has built up his slam and managed to land it, which puts them on two each. However, Red Riding Shrek has um, quite a large um, build up in his slam meter. He has, you know, three letters. And half of his M, and oh, and this might be the, this might be the last slam, for his last and slam. that is the last slam of the game. So game one goes to Red Riding Shrek. Uh, we are going to uh, quickly uh, update the board so that we can give Red Riding Shrek. That is a purple screen. Um, there we go. Okay, we're back in game. Uh, we can continue. This is now Longshore Drift's counter pick. So uh, be, uh, interesting to see what he picks. Should, uh, I mean, obviously, with counter pick, it opens up options such as Fryer Tuck Fat Boy, mm -hmm. um, which has been made a counter pick. It's my, very... my favorite stage, personally. It's just a funny stage. What's, what's not to love about Fryer Tuck Fat Boy? It's just a giant man, and also giant, the theme. Giant Tuck. Although, although the theme is not Played. stage specific, uh, it's a very good theme. It's, just, it's, it's the best song out of Shrek Super Slam. Yeah, by far. Um, now, it's not uh, a neutral stage. It's a counter pick, mainly because of, I believe it's the uh, nature of the uh, the unleveled castle um, at one side of the stage, uh, which has been used for its campy tactics. Mm. Um, specifically, recently, it's been discussed the possibility for Robin Hood to use this part of the stage for his camping um, as as you know his um, his wall jump attack is a very fast very powerful homing arrow yeah uh, and if he can get these wall attacks out in quick succession he can uh, carpet the stage and zone out quite a lot um, and with Fry Tuck Fat Boy he can uh, use the castle to ledge hop uh, and do lots of wall attacks in quick succession mm -hmm. uh, and keep a lot of stage control just by staying on one side of the stage yep Okay, so now it's uh, against Pat Chops. Uh, Longshore Drift uh, is uh, counter picking the stage this time. So now he's a lot more options. See what he's going to go for. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what he goes for. Quite uh, interesting to see a bit of Romeo Drive. Um, it's a very, very simple stage. Uh, flat area with um, some platforms on one side and a few item spawns. Okay, we are in fact, fact going. He's chosen. There you can see on the loading screens, it always shows the combo tree of player one. Uh, and the way this game works is through combos with the A and B buttons on a GameCube controller. Um, it obviously differs from character to character uh, with different combinations and amount of the A and B button leading into different kinds of combos of different Ooh, attacks. Patch up stunned here. That and was a shield break. Oh, a shield break, okay. Um, as far as I saw. But he has in fact 
got rid of running Shrek in a corner. It's it's uh, quite an equal game. Uh, uh, like at the start of the last one, they're maintaining quite an equal ground. Yeah, the um, aerials granting Red Riding Shrek his first slam damage, of the game. And a lot of build on the slam yeah. meter. It's a very good aerial. It, it, but like two of them like fill up the entire M, I I believe. It's um a throwing a few. One thing about Romeo Drive that people have got to be careful about is the uh, ability for players in the lower area to throw the obtainable projectiles and piece of the environment uh, at their opponent. Well, the second slam before Longshot Drift's first one. Okay, we've got a 2-1 uh, slams to Red Riding Shrek here. Oh, aerial throw. And a this combo is... straight out of the, uh, the, the grab. This... Are we going to see a shutout? That would be pretty incredible for our first match here. Let's see. Okay, no, we've got a slam from Longshore Drift, and it hits. Longshore Drift brings it back with uh, two two slams. It's possible. It's possible to see a comeback, but it's going to be a very very difficult time. He's going to have to. He's equalised on the slam meter. He's going. He, although he has a slam down and dodged with a roll back behind the riding track. He's going to have to That's land those it. hits right after he gets up off the ground because otherwise it's going to be very difficult to. Um, Keep remaining. Oh. Keep. Oh wait, no. This could be the last hit of the game. That was it. That Red Riding it. Shrek, as you can see there, landed a very, very heavy combo, of which the last hit built up two, two and a half letters of his slam meter, securing in the victory. Yeah. So congratulations to Red Riding Shrek. First actual victory.